Hey guys, today we're making a delicious treat called tangkulu. Essentially, it's fresh fruit coated in crunchy caramel. The combination of the juicy fruit with the hard candy is incredible. I'm using strawberries today because it's my favorite fruit to use. And if you've never tried this, you'll be obsessed. So we're essentially making caramel. So please be careful. If you're a kid, get an adult to help you out. Do not make this alone. To the saucepan, you're going to add the sugar and some water. And I also like to add some honey for flavor. Your pan should be over low heat. Do not stir this mixture or it may crystallize. You can, however, gently swirl the pan. And as soon as the majority of sugar has dissolved into the water, you can turn your flame to medium and bring this to a boil. If you're new to my channel, Channel, make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. Now, if you have a thermometer, you want the temperature to reach 150 degrees Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit, also known as the hard crack stage on your thermometer. This is going to take anywhere between 8 to 10 minutes. It really depends on your flame. Now, if you don't have a thermometer, what you can do is cook this to a slightly, and I mean slightly, higher temperature, and you'll know it's ready because the mixture will turn a slight amber color. At this point, turn off your flame immediately or the sugar will burn and taste bitter. I like to add one or two drops of red food coloring and you'll see why in just a moment. You're going to dip your strawberries into the mixture using a wooden skewer and swirl the berries to coat them completely and you're going to place these onto some parchment paper to cool. Now this is why I like to add red food coloring because if you have some strawberries that have some green bits such as this one, when you coat them in the mixture, they'll turn a vibrant red. So no matter how the strawberries look guys, they'll always turn a beautiful red. The strawberries will harden pretty quickly, but just to be safe, wait at least 10 minutes before you eat these. Not only are these delicious guys, but they're so much fun to eat. And there's really a handful of foods, guys, you can say that about, okay? The hot syrup basically softens the berry. So when you bite into it, you get this crunchy candy exterior, but that juicy berry that just explodes with deliciousness. It's a very unique and amazing texture that you'll only fully understand if you make these. 